Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition Love in General reading. This is for the element of Earth. So if you are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, these messages are for you. Excuse me, I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Remember these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they do give you some clarity. Um, also, if you are wanting to book your video or email reading, I start accepting payments on Fridays. So uh, make sure to email Tamaj70, I'm sorry, TamajTarot at gmail.com. I almost gave away the old email address um, so that you can get the price list uh, if you don't already have it. But make sure you have an updated price list. Um, I've updated it in July. so. All right, so central issue, heart of the matter, we have the Emperor, the Nine of Pentacles, Justice, Six of Wands, Four of Cups, Ace of Swords, Page of, uh, of Wands, and Death. Okay. So, um, you guys, I feel that things have been off balance in your life, maybe in finances, maybe in career, maybe even in a love situation. Um, I'm getting someone who maybe is uh, admiring you from a distance or at afar. And this person is getting ready to come forward. Um, so someone is getting ready to speak or express how they feel or what they've been thinking. And there's going to be clarity in a situation. I noticed also he's holding this sword. So he's determined to express or speak his mind. And he's going to be very direct with whatever it is that he has to say. Now the emperor is also someone who likes to take their time when they make their move uh, or before they make their move rather. Um, but once they have made some sort of decision, they just kind of swoop in and <laughs> just kind of, um, you know, say what it is that they want. And it looks like he's possibly already been waiting to say something. Maybe this is the person that the emperor is interested in. They view you as someone who is valuable. Um, you may be someone who's admired for your independence and your confidence. And I feel like, you know, this is movement here. This is coming forward. This is having the confidence to say what is on one's mind. Now, also career-wise, I, I feel like you're going to get like recognition for your work or people will be paying attention to you. You may have suddenly had the, um, been inspired to go after uh, whatever it is that you're passionate about. Uh, maybe someone's been encouraging you or saying encouraging things to get you to come out of your shell, to get you to open up. Maybe there's someone that you view and, you know, they motivate you. You're, it's like looking up at someone and saying, this person is so confident or this person goes after what they want. This person um, is goal driven and they, they, they do what they say they're going to do. I want to be like that. So maybe this is a situation where someone that you are watching or you look up to inspires you to come out of your shell and go towards whatever it is that you want and desire. Some of you also relationship wise may be going through some sort of um, separation. Like maybe you're having to go talk to lawyers or get legal advice or maybe you filed some sort of papers um, so that you could um, so that you could end things with someone and making it final. So it looks like someone is getting ready to make a final decision here. You could be dealing with any element, but we do have Libra, Aries, um, what do you call it, Scorpio, um, Sagittarius, or 
a Leo, maybe Cancer. But yeah, it, it looks like there's going to be someone's deciding to maybe end things. <sighs> trying to see now what I'm thinking about. Uh, OK, so maybe some of you have been wanting to end things with someone, but you didn't have the courage to do so. This is having the courage to do so. It's like, OK, I'm ready to let something go. I'm ready to put the past behind me. I'm ready to change. So maybe you are getting ready to confront your fears some type of way or someone is coming towards you that way. They're like, I'm not afraid um, to, to say what I have to say. Or I'm not afraid to move on. You know, if you were afraid to move on, especially after some sort of divorce and you're like, if we get a divorce, that means I'm single and I'm on my own and I have to be independent. So if that was your fear, I feel like you're not going to be afraid of that anymore. Um, you guys have some sort of growing curiosity about something, too. Um, maybe something in regards to your spirituality. It could be your creativity or it could even be your sexuality. But there is something that you're uh, very curious about. I'm also getting a death card, though, as... Okay, so I just heard boys to men, the end of the road. Um... So maybe some of you feel that you've reached the end of the road with somebody. Um, I don't know if someone was trying to flirt or tempt you into something and get you to change your mind or reconsider something. And then it was just like, no, I've made my decision. I'm letting go. Now, I also see the death card as making some sort of changes to... Uh, something dealing with legalities, like legally changing your name, um, doing something legal, like you've completed some sort of legal work. Maybe you paid off a debt or paid off taxes, uh, changed your business name. Maybe you had to apply for something. I do see someone's application getting denied for something. But that's only because maybe it just wasn't for you. So don't worry too much about that. Because I see you getting something. I see you receiving some sort of uh, payoff that leaves you with just enough. And then after that, you have to go your separate way. So this made me also think of some sort of child custody battle where like one parent was fi filing to have custody and something gets denied. It's like, no, it goes to the parent that's making X amount of dollars or the most stable parent, something like that. Mm, okay, so let me look at the death card some more. I also feel like someone ghosted their um their court date uh or like if you were called in for jury duty either you forgot or you just intentionally just did not go So for some of you, this is about either cutting off communication from somebody, especially if something was on and off, or if you were in an unstable situation, maybe all of a sudden you have clarity about what you need to do and you're cutting ties with someone after some sort of grueling ongoing decision. Some of you may be deciding to move or relocate yeah, you know, or let something go. It's like spirit is telling you at first, maybe you weren't listening to spirit. And then you said, let me just go with spirit. Let me go with the flow of things and not 
fight against it. So you just allow things to play out and you're going through some sort of healing. So you're moving the journey or the path that you're on is a path to healing. Uh, for some of you, maybe you're being led to uh, a Sagittarius or someone that has Sagittarius in their chart. Maybe some of you are feeling like you have some sort of telepathic connection with someone, but it's been cut off or you're trying to cut off a telepathic connection with someone. Now, on the flip side, I just saw that if you were if you were headed in the wrong direction, spirit is going to give you a clear sign that that's not the direction that you want to go in or need to go in. So if you were headed towards this energy or whoever, it doesn't matter what sign, it's almost like, no, that's not the direction. It's not to work that out. Like this contract has been completed. There's no need to, to do anything else. Like whatever, uh, it's like a situation where maybe someone comes into your life and even though there's this strong connection, it's like that person served this purpose. So if you had a soul contract with someone, even if you have this contract and it's so beautiful, it's so connecting, sometimes those contracts, you know, we don't know how long they're for. Maybe it was just a short contract. Some contracts are, you know, a few weeks a few months, a few years, you know, maybe it's ongoing, but I feel like whatever this soul contract was expired here with the death card. It's like, no, it, it's expired. Maybe now you have confirmation of that. Maybe you had a dream. Maybe something was revealed in your dream about something that you were confused about. Um, and now you understand that something has been resolved um, and then once something has been resolved, it's like time to move on or let it go. Maybe you now understand why someone ghosted you. If someone recently ghosted you, it's like now I understand that was just a contract or they served their purpose. That was to get me on this path here. Yeah, so for some of you, I think this is about an understanding of why something had to end. why someone ghosted you. Um, I also feel like out of this death though, there will be a new beginning. You're gonna look at things completely different. Let me, um, Look at the Six of Wands. I also feel like if you are trying to leave a situation that you're supposed to be in, that someone could, someone could stop you. Especially like once you decide to move forward with someone else, maybe you're like, I'm ready to move on. You know, I, I'm, I'm done with my ex. Um, I'm ready to let go. It took me six months to get over them, but now I'm ready to move forward. It could be a situation where the minute you try to move forward, something stops you. So you'll know which story belongs to you. Okay, so for some of you, you have a follower that um, has feelings for you, but they're very shy. They're keeping themselves, their identity hidden, or they, if their identity isn't hidden, they just, they connect with you, or maybe there is some sort of uh, interactive communication between the two of you, um, but then... I feel like they're just pretending like everything's friendly, but they really have intentions maybe uh, for something else, you know, like really wanting to get to know you. So I feel like you have a shy follower who's pretending to be someone else or who's sending some sort of mixed signals.
something's going to, about a reconciliation is going to come to an abrupt ending. No, I get it. Okay, so it's something that was a love triangle. I feel like there could have been some sort of games being play, played, like someone was playing around. And I just feel like that's going to come to an end. Like someone's finished playing games. They may be ready to, you know, be serious. Something is going to be confirmed to you about a follower as well. Something's going to be confirmed. It's like once you see this or once you realize something, you're like, that's it. You know, everything was confirmed that this person was um, playing mind games or was uh, or does really like me, is really attracted to me. Hmm. I also see this as some sort of friendship possibly getting ready to change your life. Hmm. Someone is very clever or is, is multi-talented. Someone has many layers to themselves and is very hard to figure out or read. Hmm. I also feel if you have multiple talents that you are going to get recognized for one, one of them or all of them. Someone knows how to wear mini mask. Let me look at the four of cups here. Someone is going to overcome their introversion, their shyness. Um, they're going to come out of their shell and confront their insecurities, doubts, and fears. Uh, whatever someone has been avoiding. Like, you also could have been getting invited out to a lot of things. I feel like you are, maybe you've been declining people or turning people down. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm starting to get that's what's going on is that you've been avoiding communication with people and just being very introverted because emotionally you may have been disconnected and just not ready. Maybe people have been trying to get you to come out and you're like, no, I don't want to. I feel like if you, whatever you've been avoiding, it, it's going to come to an end. Like if you've been acting shy and introverted, it will come to an end. You're going to realize that something is a blessing in disguise. Um, or you're going to realize that you have some sort of spiritual and sexual connection with somebody. Some of you have, you have been juggling between a soulmate um, or uh, a kindred spirit. Or, you know, you had just been juggling and undecided on who you want to move forward with. Or this is the energy of someone around you. They've been juggling and maybe communicating with other people, but just not being sure of what, you know, the role that you guys have. Also feel like someone is far away from you that you keep dreaming about or thinking about or that you're still attracted to, but you don't want to be, but it's like you can't help it. So I'm gonna pull a few energy cards. It's that the truth is going to come out about a situation too. All right, additional messages for the element of Earth. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday.
Okay, so we have Broken Heart, The Thinking Man, Thinking Woman, Man Holding a Heart. All right, so with Broken Heart, I feel that maybe this is the current energy or past energy that there's a separation at hand or your heart broken over something. Um, and you've been healing. Maybe you've been holding on to crystals. Maybe you've been going to crystal shops trying to look for things to help heal. Um, maybe you've also been visualizing, reconnecting with someone or having some sort of reconciliation. And now something will be confirmed for you or you will have some sort of physical manifestation. Um, so also here with the thinking man and woman, I feel like if this is a love situation, this is a perfect match. And I feel like two hearts are being healed or mended here because it is split here or healing. But both of these people, because they're able to communicate, because there has been some sort of understanding reached, now there can be love. Now people are ready to open up and express their feelings. So you guys may end up wearing your heart on your sleeve over the weekend um, or taking someone up on their offer to talk and heal. So it does make me feel like this is about someone from the past. Now, if it's not about someone from the past, then maybe for some of you, you were just kind of hurt because you were thinking like, you know, I, I can't connect with anyone. I haven't been able to find anyone that I connect with. But now, all of a sudden, something happens and you are able to connect with someone that you have things in common with. Like the both of you like to talk about philosophy, um, metaphysical things. I'm looking at how she's doing research. They both have something different to offer, although they're very similar. Um, I, I just kind of feel like he wants to manifest or together they can manifest the things that they have been researching about. There's maybe some sort of enlightening conversation that takes place here. Now, because we do have three different energies, it could have been a situation where there was a love triangle. Maybe there was some sort of betrayal in the past and, and now it's like, now that someone has been isolated or had time to think about their actions or think about the other person's actions, whatever the case, now the healing can begin. You know, is maybe someone is saying, I'm sorry. Maybe someone is offering an apology. Um, maybe someone is ready to forgive when they had not, when they didn't want to at first. So I feel like for the most part too, there, you may be looking at something from a logical standpoint. You may be looking at something logically instead of just basing things off of your emotions. It's like, well, it only makes sense if, you know, I follow my heart or it only makes sense if X, Y, Z. So there's also some sort of balance, I feel like, between heart and intellect that had to be made. So I hope that makes sense. I uh, hope it resonates. Feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings to you.